Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. It's your daily portion of Russian accent, reviewing different kind of retro stuff and sometimes not really retro stuff like in this case, but it's also about travel and everything in between, anything in between basically. So today we're actually going to talk about crossover. And what is a crossover? In the previous episode we have been discussing like using Windows on your M1 Mac or Linux on your M1 Mac, but sometimes you don't really want to mess around with just installing those kind of of distros on your Mac machine, right? Sometimes you just want to have some kind of ready-to-use solution without even purchasing any kind of licenses for Windows, for example, or without installing Linux or without messing around with all that stuff. In this case, crossover is actually a good solution. What is a crossover? So basically, it's an emulation layer that you put on top of your Mac machine. So it's emulation layer of Windows, but it uses open source components, so that's why you don't really need to purchase any license. It just uses like Wine Engine. So Wine engine has actually been developed like long long time ago and it's uh, really mature enough to be able to execute uh, Windows applications right you can basically use crossover solution on either Linux or Mac because like in that sense is that those platforms are kind of similar right now but in this case we're gonna be trying this one on the M1 Mac because this platform is really really interesting right now so what I have right here is basically crossover installed and some applications already installed right here, some Windows applications installed. And guys, you don't actually need to run any Windows instance or Linux instance, it just works this way. So how does it work? It basically simulates the structure of Windows operating system, which means like all the main core components, but written in open source. And that's why it's very, very lightweight version of Windows components. And that's why when you run application, it just basically starts on top of that. For example, we can just open magic ISO right here i basically installed this application right here and it just asks try it how about this uh, magic iso would like to access files on your desktop okay and basically that's how it works guys it's like windows application running on my mac natively i actually already have a video about that but it was a play on mac solution which is like a little bit different it's like a free solution and crossover is a commercial product so basically it's a little bit different so you can just use it like this and it just works i have some other apps installed for example right monkey and you just uh, double click it and it launches. All right, there it is, close. And here it is guys, basically right monkey running right here. And I can just like type testing, subscribe to my channel. Basically it's just like Windows application running on your Mac and, and feels like it's like a native app, right? It just like feels this way and it's really like a magic. How does it actually work? As I said, so every time you install the application and here on crossover, it just creates a thing called bottle. And this bottle basically contains all like Windows structure as well as your application. Let me actually show it how it works. On my disk, on my external disk actually, I have this right here. So I can just open this folder and it has all those bottles installed right here. Just take a look. Total Commander, Right Monkey and Magic ISO, right? And I can just basically go here and open any of those like right monkey for example and here you can see the structure of windows like drive c for example windows users and all that and basically it even has like notepad but it's just basically not windows notepad it's like open source kind of simulation of notepad so it's really really exciting if you're curious how, like how much space it actually takes let's take a look for example at magic iso and it takes like 100 max which is not that bad actually it's just totally fine but yeah like every app you install just like simulates windows structure which is pretty exciting let's actually discuss how to set this all up because by default all those bottles which means applications are installed on your hard drive sometimes like on m1 mac there's not enough space so that's why i just reconfigured this one to be able to use my external hard drive for this purpose like how do i do it which you just need to modify the configuration file that's it how to find configuration file well there's easy way just like look take a look at documentation right but i'm not like the person like that so in this case i'm just using the app called app cleaner so this application app cleaner the main purpose of it is basically to remove applications that you don't really like so you can just drop it down like that for example crossover and it's gonna show you all the path this application uses for example it's installed in applications crossover library application support and library logs and all that blah 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 so you basically press remove and you remove it completely but the secondary use of this application is basically to browse where application stores the files and including the configuration files in this case I think it's stored right here library application support crossover so you just press this button you go to crossover and then we need this file crossover configuration so now I'm using the atom text editor 
to basically edit this one but you can use anything you want like text edit is totally fine as well so i just modified one one line i just basically added the path to my external hard drive and you can just like, go around and explore all other cases like here for example uh, you can just like set preferred browser which is basically on your crossover in instance it can it, it can actually point to a specific browser that, that, that you like so basically really, really really easy bottle default section so this is the section that we actually need and here uh, it says environment variables and it says cx bottle path and this is where actually my bottle is uh, stored crossover bottles so volumes mac extension crossover bottles by default it's not available here all you need to do is basically add those two lines to the file and it's gonna work just fine so you just need to provide the path to your bottles and that's work like that so it's really good way of just like saving up your internal hard drive space really cool and you can just explore other stuff here but nothing too exciting here so yeah and you can just like remove the logs and the unnecessary stuff here it actually works for any application on mac you basically drop it down to app cleaner and it just works one of my favorite application guys one of my favorite applications is app cleaner for sure try it of course you can also explore the official documentation so on the an official code Vivers website you can just like take a look here like mac knowledge base crossover mac and all that change the bottle directory in crossover mac so there are like multiple methods you can just also use terminal just be basically modify the specific file or as I said you can just like add those two lines right here and that's it very very easy all right what about applications you can install in the crossover actually there is like knowledge base of all apps available and basically users report applications that work and they report applications that don't work so you can either use it right here for example on code Weber website compatibility and you can just like type any app that you like like magic ISO for example um, and you can just like see how it works okay runs well and just provides all the instructions so basically crossover already knows what components this application needs for example the frameworks it needs and it automatically grabs those framework that it needs so basically this is better than wine because in wine I mean the engine that it uses in wine you actually need to configure it all manually and you just need to figure out stuff and it takes time and effort and all that so sometimes it's not really worth it but here it just provides you all the stuff and it does it automatically for you so that's what i like play on mac actually is also really good in that sense but crossover i think it's a bit better in that sense so yeah try it so, out let's go back to crossover app and if you need to install a specific application all you need to do is basically click this button right here click this button and you can either browse all the applications like that and you can just like select which one you like for example how about we go to productivity how about office suits yeah for example, LibreOffice, and it provides you all the info. For example, in this case, it says untested. Once you press continue, it's actually gonna ask you for the path of this specific binary, so installation binary. But in some cases, it actually downloads it for you. For example, in the case of Magic ISO that I installed, it says runs well, and you just click continue, and it's actually gonna grab the binary from the server and install it for you, and install all the components, which is really cool. But in this case, the most interesting app probably people gonna install first <laughs> in crossover is probably gonna be Steam. And everybody knows what this Steam is all about, right? It's basically running your favorite games on Mac. So let's actually go ahead and try that. And Steam, it says, runs well. It has four stars. And what it says, crossover will install English version. It's gonna grab the installer from here. And it's gonna install 64-bit bottled name Steam and all that. So guys, you can actually install the native version of Steam for Mac on your Mac M1 machine. But it's only gonna run the games that are suitable for the M1 chip. But here, in case of crossover, it's also gonna be able to run Windows games. Which is basically designed to running for Windows, not Mac. Basically providing you much more capabilities. But in some cases, it doesn't really work well. So it's like... It's like that. So let's go ahead and install this one. So what it does is basically it's installing all the components right here. And it's gonna install like one by one basically. Just gonna ask you like install, install, install. So let's see how much time it takes. <laughs> Creating the Steam bottle. So first it creates the file structure. And then it's gonna download those things. Let's see. All right. So for example, MS Phone Family. Let's say yes. And guys, in the previous few times I've tried, it actually failed to install Steam. Like it actually succeeded for me multiple times, but in some cases totally failed. So I mean, it depends on your luck as well. Uh, let's go ahead and press XML parser. Next, I accept. So you basically need to install it like you do in real life. Nomadic, Dimitri. Let's see. Uh, next, install. All right, so let's see. And installing Steam, finally. Okay, so finally it's installing Steam part English. 
And of course, this is just the virtual folder, it's not your actual physical folder on Mac. So I have 300 gigs of space on my external drive, which is cool. Install, and it basically like this. Press finish here. Refreshing the menus. Uh, well, I think in this case it was actually fine. So it's actually running just fine. All right, guys, seems to be it actually installed. It's actually working fine on my Mac. So basically downloading all the components and it's working well. So it's actually downloading the Steam and I think it's gonna work fine with many games. So I've tried with a few games, it worked well. Sometimes it crashed just some some kind of weird scenarios happen so you just need to see workarounds on forums and stuff like that but most of the cases it's working fine crossover is really cool i mean even the interface is really nice you can just like for example select at least like this or any kind of options that you prefer i also like this option it says run command for example if you double click it you can select the bottle which you want to use as a base and for example let's select magic iso and we're gonna just type notepad and it actually opens the crossover like a wine version of notepad if you click here about notepad it's running on wine and the version number so basically this is how it works guys i mean it's totally totally cool and steam seems like it's almost downloaded let's see let's see let's see here it is guys steam working on your mac you can just log in and you can see your steam library it works well and if you're really interested we can actually explore and run a few games on the steam but i think that's not really the point of this video let's actually leave it for other video all right guys thank you for watching this video as you can see you can totally run your steam or any other windows applications on your m1 mac and it's gonna work just fine and the crossover has been there for more than a decade basically this is really well supported product there are still some applications that do not work as i said this is a commercial product if you don't really want to pay you can just like first try it for a few days i think it's like two weeks or you can try play on mac but i'm not really sure how playing mac actually works on m1 mac i've tried it briefly and it was not working well for me maybe i'm just missing some point but crossover it actually, it actually was tested to work on M1 Mac. Alright guys, please subscribe, press the like button and see you soon. Alright, bye!